We're looking for something that most people ignore. For us, this is more valuable than gold. Normally, it takes me around seven to eight hours to get through half of the trails. There was this little junction, and just at that meeting point, my heart was beating so much, and it hit me. Yo, we got a sample. There's a real beauty in working with feces, just because of the information that you can get from it. Because there you have the DNA. You know, parasites, diet, stress level, hormones. Like just knowing that we have this wealth of data in front of us on the ground, a pile of furry mess, but that contains so much secrets about foxes and coyotes. There is wildlife that you would think that is, is some far removed forest, but it's right in the middle of this bustling city. This is something that they have had to adapt to, so it just tells you a lot about their resilience. The question is always like, how are we interacting with, uh, with the wild animals, with the ecosystem? What does that mean for them? This is just our first glimpse of what the coyotes and foxes are like here in Toronto because no one actually studied them. So it's, it's really exciting on a personal front, but also just in, in terms of scientifically. It was only uh, two of us uh, at first. So now um, there's like 15 or 20 people that are, that are currently involved in, in the process. When I speak to the volunteers, when I tell them, oh, you're going to be collecting scat, a lot of the first reaction is, wait, what? But once we start telling them, you know, what kind of information we can get out of it, they get very excited. You're kind of seeing people learning and also falling in love with this, uh, with this work. My first time when I took 10 photos of it, I sent it to my mother. <laughs> and then she's like, Avril, <laughs> we're in the middle of lunch here. Please don't do that. I don't necessarily always lead with, oh yes, what I do for a living is I look for scat in the ground. Try to avoid that and just say, yeah, I, I work with uh, wildlife conservation. 